Morning everybody and a very warm welcome on a very chilly morning from Springwood Farm. Hope everyone's keeping well. Busy day here at Tillers as always. We're gonna have a little wander out now and see what's going on. Well, we'll come out to the field, see what's going on. And as you can see, not too much. That is because we're currently into our fourth day in a row where temperatures have not got above zero degrees. So once again, we've got a frost, which is going to delay harvest. Thankfully this week, you know, we haven't had to stop harvest. Uh, we've simply delayed it until sort of just after lunchtime, but we're still getting the orders out as best we possibly can. Now, there is a bit of a difference when it comes to the frost with the different turf types that we grow. So we're on Green's turf here at the moment, moment six mil. Have to say, despite the frost, it's looking absolutely stunning at the moment. Really, really happy with it. Really good quality turf going out. Uh, to some golf course at the moment. Now with this, because it is so tightly mown, obviously the ground is a lot more exposed to the temperature. So we tend to find the root zone here can freeze. It takes just that little bit longer to thaw out. With the landscape turf, the rye grasses, it's a much higher height of cut. Therefore we get a more insular canopy to it. So therefore the soil doesn't sort of freeze quite as badly. So once the sun gets up, you know, it will knock the frost off the leaf and we're pretty much ready to go then. So, so long as the ice isn't accumulating on the roller on the harvester, then we know we're good to go. So, as I say, not postponed, simply delayed at the moment. One of the questions I ask a lot this time of year, you know, by phone calls, emails, etc., is can I lay turf in the frost? Well, let's be honest, number one, it's not ideal. If it's an absolute must, then I'm not going to say it's right or wrong. But what I would say is if you're laying turf onto frozen soil, you may want to just lightly roll it once it's thawed out. The reason being for that, that unless the soil is absolutely perfect, you're really not going to get that quality turf to soil connection that you really want. But if you have to do it, I would suggest maybe going back when it thaws, as I say, just to roll it out, just to firm the surface and uh, press it to the soil, make sure you get a good connection there. If you've already laid your turf and you get a heavy frost, again, I've had people concerned saying, is it going to hurt my turf? You know, it's come frosted now, I laid it last week. The bottom line is it's not going to hurt at all. So no problem at all to go with that. So this time of year, if you've got turf projects, always worth keeping an eye on the forecast. If you do feel you need to postpone it, then give us plenty of notice. Obviously we have things like couriers and hauliers lined up and it's only fair that we sort of give them fair notice to change their schedules too. But overall, beautiful day. So you might just be saying what the guys up to today then if they're not out in the field harvesting. Well, there's still plenty to do at the yard. So we're gonna have a ride back to Springwood now, see what the guys are up to and we'll catch you there. Cheers for now. at Springwood Farm now and we're going to have a little wander around to see what's going on when we can't be harvesting. So at the moment the guys are busy in the yard, we're building a new washdown pad at the moment. It's an absolute monster, it's huge, but it has to be to facilitate obviously our 23 unit Vimo being one of the bigger machines that needs to be on there. So that's being done at the moment, but obviously in these conditions the guys can't lay any concrete so that's slowed down a little bit. So pretty much everyone back in the workshop now, servicing machinery, cleaning things up, getting things ready for the new season. You know, we'll soon be breaking up for Christmas. As soon as we're back, that's pretty much it then for the next year, full on, and away we go. So we've got the Hoover out here, but the guys are busy cleaning that out at the moment, giving it a service ready for action again. Uh, this one's on hire from one of our sister companies, Fine Turf Machinery. So it's always worth having a look on their website um, and having a look, they've got lots of machines for hire, lots of nice second use machines for sale. So well worth a look on there sometime, but they give a super service, great machinery, and a real asset to us. Um, as, a, as a group of companies, so I'd say fantastic. So we're going to have a little wander down to the workshop, see what the guys are doing in there and we'll catch you shortly. So I'm in the workshop now, so let's just have a little wander around, see what's going on. So in front of me here we've got a couple of new vans that we've just invested in recently to increase our fleet. And these are great little versatile vans for just getting things like pedestrian mowers around, bags of seed, bags of fertilizer, rolls of turf, generally shipping things all over the site, you know, chuck the tools in there, great fitter kit, um, really useful to us all. So on the side at the moment, we're having the logos on, so www.tillersturf.co.uk and obviously the, the office phone number there. So if you need to get in touch with us about any products or anything else, that's the best line of contact to do it. We're just waiting for the logos to come. They'll be coming on Monday and they'll be plastered on the side here. So we can have Tillers Turf going down the road, all nicely badged up and uh, a great addition of the safe the fleet. Also, we've got a bit of service work going on one of the harvesters here. Obviously they're not out at the moment, it's too frosty this morning, so we were waiting for the frost to clear. So it's an opportunity for a quick service, so a quick oil change, a bit of antifreeze, and uh, just a general check over. 
bit of grease and everything else. That's what keeps these machines going. So Kieran's busy with that. Uh, Kieran's under here at the moment. He's probably doing a bit of grease or lubricating or something, but as I say, lots and lots to do. So actually putting a bit of oil in. We're also investing quite heavily as we do every year with irrigation. So Rory's been busy painting all the uprights, ready to uh, put out and get ready for next irrigation season. So once Christmas turns, we're not going to be too far away from that. But also this time of year, one of the busiest things we have to do is servicing of mowers. We'll cover that in another vlog sometime. So we've got the first of the fine turf mowers in here. It's one of our seven unit gangs. So the guys are busy, the fine turf specialist team in now, stripping the units off, grinding them, sharpening them, new bottom blades, overall service ready for the new season. We started a bit later than normal with this. One reason for that, the grass hasn't stopped growing. This frost now certainly checked it and gives us the opportunity to get it in. And Craig, you want to see the workshop when the 23 unit mower comes in. Absolutely, uh, absolute carnage, but it's got to be done. So we've probably got well over 100 units to get it stripped down and grind. This is going to keep the guys busy at every opportunity. There are lots to do, so I think what we'll do is we'll have a little ride out now and uh, see what's going on, see if it's close to getting harvested again. Well, what a difference a few hours makes. If you look behind me here, frost is all gone now, so the guys are out harvesting. So we've got the pallets ready here for ready for collection later. So always be assured that even in extreme conditions like this, we'll do our absolute best to get these products out to you. And unless we can physically can't lift them, then of course we will we'll all try and fulfill every single order that we get. So sometimes out of our control, uh, but thankfully today the sun's got up and done us a massive favour. So in the meantime, thanks again for watching. Uh, please continue to like, to share, to retweet, subscribe to us Turf TV if you haven't already. Uh, but for now, have a great weekend. Keep warm, stay safe, and we'll catch you next week. Cheers for now. Bye.